Hey everyone, Daniel O'Grady here and welcome to another Wasabi Cows video. Thank you so much for joining me. I do hope you're all well and I want to know, have you seen Mad Max yet? Are you one of the 9 out of 10 who freaking love it or the 1 out of 10 who want their money back? Let me know in the comments below, I really want to know. And uh, I want to ask you another question at the end of the video. It's not really question of the day, but stick around, please. Now, let's check out today's car. It is a year 2000-ish, I guess. Toyota Celica TRD Sports M, apparently it's quite a special one, and I'm reading here just 1,200 were produced. Now, it was built on the uh, Super Strut Celica, which I don't know anything about. You know, I like my older cars, of course, regular viewers will know that. So, um, yeah, we're talking Celicas and models that I have no clue about. Having said that, I do like the styling of this car, I think it's a future classic. It's so uniquely styled, and uh, I do like its quirkiness, I've got to say. So this has got all the TRD goodies on it, it's got the performance bits, so it's got a, a tuned ECU, it's got handling and suspension and chassis mods, so it's stiffer, it's stronger, and uh, handles a lot better. And also styling wise, there's lots of TRD goodies on the outside with the body kit, and also in the interior, special seats and trim options and uh, whatever. Now for those of you who are familiar with this generation of Celica, which I've got to say I'm not, you know, I'm going to see him go down the road, I don't really know what's going on inside, but uh, I wonder if you guys cannot point out a couple of things that are different. Now I did see the brochure of this and there were two options or two color options, the black and the red and also the blue and gray. Both are, you know, quite, uh, what's the word, bold. Very boldly styled in the interior and very sporty. Mmm, nice. Now let's check out under the bonnet. And I'm looking for a number here. You know the number, guys. It is ZZT231. This denotes that it is a legitimate item. And there it is right there. Also, there's a TRD plate. And, uh, you know, there is so little space to poke around in here. I don't really know what I can say. But what you see is what you get. Yeah, so I saw this car at a gathering of Toyota Celica owners in, uh, where, where was it, in Fukuoka City last year. Now, I, saw, I made so many videos and I still haven't put them all together yet, so uh, I'm going to chip away at it very slowly. I know there are a lot of Celica fans out there, I know there are a lot of fans of the cars in the background. Uh, I will get there, it's going to happen. Speaking of which, my visit to the Toyota Museum in uh, Aichi, near Nagoya. I've got plenty of videos of that too. Oh, it just goes on and on guys, but uh, I will get through them eventually. Now, question of the day is not really a question. I want your thoughts. So, maybe I want to stop doing question of the day and replace it with something else. What do you think of this, guys? If uh, you send me two or three photos of your car, and a little bit of information about it and then at the end of each video no matter what it is I'll you know randomly pick one and show uh, a couple of pictures and have a bit of a chat about it give you a shout out what do you think guys I would like to know what oh, is the question of the day hey and uh, I'm gonna shoot guys who true guys and uh, take it easy everyone goodbye with a little bit of rust and a little bit of dirt on wasabi gals and a little bit of wasabi